Hi there, I'm with the Beach Hero program and I'm just going to tell you a few things about how to explore the beach without harming anything that lives here. So there's a few things we want to remember and I'm going to go over all of them in this video. So the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is how to look underneath the rocks. So when we're on the beach there's lots of little creatures living underneath the rocks and it's really neat to take a closer look at them. But we just need to be careful when we're doing that because we don't want to squish them. And we want to make sure we put the rock back once we take a look at them. So the thing to remember is don't rock the rocks. So instead of lifting it up like that, we're going to lift it straight up in the air. I'll show you how we do it. And there's going to be lots of little creatures living underneath it. So lift it straight up like this. Put it gently to the side and you can see all the little shore crabs are living underneath there. As well as a number of other little creatures. So you can leave the rock like this for a little while while you look at everything underneath. Um, you can see we have a fairly big shore crab here. That's almost as big as they'll get. A green shore crab. And there's lots of other snails and hermit crabs and things living under this rock. So it's cool to take a look at that and take a look at all the things living on this side of the rock as well. And once we're finished looking at them, we want to make sure we put the rock back the same way that we flipped it over. So just exactly how it was like that. So now it's right back on. It's almost like this is the roof of their house. So we want to make sure we put the roof back on so now they're all protected again. And as you can see, one of the main creatures we saw under there was shore crabs. Um, a lot of people, when they come down to the beach, it's really fun to take a closer look at the shore crabs um, in a bucket or something like that. Um, but we have, what we have to remember is crabs need water. Um, they have to keep their gills moist in order to breathe. So if you are going to look at shore crabs, um, try and keep, or make sure you keep water in the bucket. And refresh that water every 10-15 minutes because they'll use all the oxygen in the water eventually. So you can, as you can see here we have lots of water and we have two shore crabs and also a hermit crab in here. So make sure you do that and make sure obviously that you put them back when you're finished taking a look. Try not to keep them in a bucket for too long because um, they'll need to go back under a rock pretty soon. Um, so yeah, I think those are the main things to remember is don't rock the rocks and shore crabs need water. And shore crabs are really important. Um, they're a really fun thing to collect and you know look at and maybe even be tempted to keep them because they are they're they're fun. They crawl around a lot and that kind of thing. But they're really important to the beach ecosystem. Um, when they're small, um, their larvae are part of the plankton out there. That things like the big gray whales that we saw earlier in the spring they feed on the plankton of all the larvae of all these creatures. And the shore crabs are also themselves are also food for animals like birds and all the migratory birds that come through this area. So we definitely want to keep them alive and on the beach. Um, so yeah, if you're taking a look at them, feel free to do that. Check them out. They're a really cool creature, but make sure you keep them alive and make sure they go back to their home when you're finished. So just remember those few things and have a fun day at the beach. Cut!